Hey everybody, the Bong is here, ready to give you a brand new Let's Play! Ninja Gaiden 3, the ancient ship of doom for the NES, and is brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Well, this is the third and final Ninja Gaiden NES game in the series. And this one is known to be a bit hard because you don't have unlimited continues, uh, sadly. And it looks like Ryu is pursuing Irene for some reason. I thought those two liked each other! What's wrong, Irene? Don't you understand that this is the end for you? Ryu! What are you doing? Ha ha ha! No one who has seen what's going on there can live to tell about it. And she falls. And the rockets are in the head! Irene Liu, CIA analyst, deceased. Killed on mission Cardinal. No, she wasn't bird watching, in case you were wondering. Ryu Hayabusa, descendant of the Dragon Clan. Eliminated Irene Liu at N3-SH space period. Why? I have no idea. I killed Irene? No! Someone or something using my name killed Irene. Picking my way through the dragnet, I tried to find the lab that Irene was investigating. Just staring intently at it, as I slowly scrolled to the right for some strange reason. Maybe I should just get off this conveyor belt. I mean, I won't rest until I find who killed Irene and framed me! And that's how Ninja Gaiden 3 starts. The Ancient Ship of Doom. I never really played much of this game as well as the other Ninja Gaiden games, but... This was requested to me, so I'm gonna give it a shot. I think it was the Spinia who requested that to me, like, so many times. And I'm only just getting around to it now. Sorry, but usually when you're a big lp -er, you tend to be very busy. So yeah, it functions exactly like other Ninja Gaiden games. Like, you have your power-ups, here we get a sword extender, which lasts until the end of the level, or until I die. I don't think it increases your damage, just gives you more range. Just remember to keep picking up the ninja symbols if you want to use more of your ninja arts. This here was the up and down, which launches projectiles that go, well, up and down pretty good for enemies that are directly above or below you. What's going on with the earthquake? I have no idea, but I'm not going to stick around to find out. We get the fire wheel. That's good for shooting upward. In fact, that's the only thing I can do. This other ability over here is basically the same thing, only it goes down. I think I'll stick with this one. I mean, so far it doesn't start off as bad, you know, like other Ninja Gaiden games that start off pretty easy. Later on, it will get much harder. Trust me on this one. Anybody that has common sense about Ninja Gaiden games would know that it's gonna get harder. Sadly, your abilities cost a lot of ninja power. So now we got ourselves the first boss. Uh, it's some kind of mantis warrior that's supposed to be a humanoid robotic scyther that shoots three flames out of his chest for some reason. As soon as you get the three flames, you can go over to hit him whenever his swords are back down. Again, very easy boss, you should have no problems with it. If you want, you can get a little bold wallet shooting the fire. There we go, that was an easy boss! In fact, I never got hit in the entire stage! Enjoy it while you can, because it will not last. This isn't an ordinary lab. Oh, it's Ryu. Who's there? Don't be frightened. I want you to do something for me. Go to the Castle Rock Fortress. To get there, you'll have to get past all the traps your enemy has set for you. Ryu, you're the only one who can make it. 
Who is the enemy, Hugh Grant? I mean, what is the Castle Rock Fortress? I don't have time to give you the details now. Once you get there, you'll learn all about Irene. Get going, Ryu. And hurry! Seriously, if there actually was a Ninja Gaiden 3 movie, there is absolutely no way that Hugh Grant would be in it. If Ninja Gaiden turned out to be some kind of romantic comedy, then maybe... Because that seems to be the only type of movies that Hugh Grant can make! Oh god, I got hit! And you get very little to no invincibility time in this game, which is sad, but then again, that's the norm for Ninja Gaiden. I just cannot picture Hugh Grant be somebody that confronts a ninja armed with a blade, you know? It just cannot happen. This is well beyond his expertise. I'm sorry, it's true. Ugh. These Sahagan like creatures are very annoying to deal with. This is even worse! It's kind of like the birds from Ninja Gaiden, only a much bigger sprite. Maybe it's good because it's easier to hit, or hard because it has a greater likelihood of hitting you. Now we're over here in this little cavernous area. Don't jump up too high because the spikes above will hit you. Oh, I was supposed to wait for the uh, shield to go down. Get over to the right. Thank you. Ooh, that spike ball almost hit me. Ow! That one did. Okay. It's pretty early in the game, and already I take more than one block of damage from enemies. That's very alarming. This early in the game, and already you can take massive damage from standard enemies. That should not be. But it is. I think this is the way to go. Yeah, it is. I hope I can find some scrolls, too, because they increase the maximum amount of ninja power I can have. Yeah, let me take the fire wheel. Just eliminate every enemy I see as soon as possible. It'll make it a little easier on me. And again, that's common sense. Oh, that was pretty close. Could've got hit by a bullet there. Uh, get over there! Get over there! Wait, did I take a hit? Yeah, I did. Okay, there's a scroll. Now I have 50 maximum ninja power. Uh, I think I better go for the one-up. And I lose it! <laughs> easy come, easy go. And you get sent all the way back here, which sucks. I'm gonna try my best not to use Say Say's. I can't believe I got hit there. But if I use them, it's well put to the point of an area where I've died. So I don't have to keep repeating the same stuff over and over and over and over again. Otherwise, this LP will just go on forever and get very, very tedious. At least I retain the ma new maximum amount of ninja power, so it's still at 50. But, I mean, there's hardly any checkpoints. Which sucks. Okay, I was here when I died. Well, much higher, but... Let's just start here as a base point for saves. If you thought I was gonna do this entire game without save states at all, you guys are cracked. I mean, I'm alright at Ninja Gaiden, but I'm not that good. There's only so much I can do before I realize I hit my limitations of potential. I mean, these games are infamous for their difficulty. Believe it or not, the Japanese version, I'm pretty sure this is true, has unlimited continues, but the North American version does not. Which kind of blows my mind. Because when you think about Japan and North America, usually the Japanese versions are much harder. Oh my god, can I make this? Yes. I can get up there without worrying about that enemy. Oh, no! Oh, that was close. Okay, do I want to go left? Okay, it doesn't matter. You gotta, like, make some very tough decisions pretty quickly when it comes to these segments. Okay, we're still not done. Okay, what I'm gonna do is actually say state in the beginning of a new sector. Like, rather than in the middle, just do it in the beginning. 
Okay, now we got ourselves like some kind of big flying mantis enemy. Looks robotic. And just keeps shooting flames down. It's a very simple pattern. Just try not to be below it when it's about to shoot. Don't worry about your ninja power in boss battles because it goes back down to zero anyway. If you want a higher score, then well, don't use them, but... Who really cares about score? What is this place? Keep your eyes peeled! I mean, <laughs> It's been a long time, Ryu Hayabusa. Damn, James Woods, you're really aged. I mean, you're Foster. Were the defenses around Castle Rock tough enough for you? No one has ever made it out of here alive, and no one ever will. Was Irene here? You. You're the one who... Hmm. I don't know what you're talking about. I heard that you killed Irene. We're bound to run into each other again before long. And I'll probably be wrinklier than ever. I hope you're still alive when we do. So long, Ryu. Just wait, Foster. I won't rest until I find the, out the truth. Alright, now it's time for Act 3. And we're going to the left this time! This is not standard of most of our uh, video games. You usually go to the right. Damn Mario World fish bones are purple. Ah! That was a bad jump. See, this is Ninja Gaiden in a nutshell. Some enemies are in very dickish positions. Look at that! That's beyond ridiculous. Like, I don't want to keep using up all my lives. That's why I'm just using the save at the beginning. Okay, let me just trigger it now. There, that's better. Okay, those aren't fish bones. They look like fish bones because their eyes look so hollow. Oh, you, you don't want to come for a visit? Haha, <laughs> double kill. Oh my god. Now, the thing is, when you're actually hanging on a vine or a rope or a chain or anything you can hang on to, you can't use your sword. Which makes sense, because I mean, it must take like a lot of strength to hang on to something and still swing a blade. If you attack, it's going to be your ninja art. Pull one up. Don't mind if I do. Okay, is it going to be safe if I go on this? I sure hope so. Yes. That jump was pretty risky. Whew. Yeah. Okay, now we're in here. Looks like we're inside the Deku tree. I mean, some kind of strange area. And I'm taking hits up the ass. That's not good. I have to be super cautious. Wait, those spike balls are coming down for me. Whoa, I, I thought I was ducking at the... Oh my god, that was a dumb hit. What? Come on now. Stupid damage. Yeah! Stupid Mantis! Okay, I want that. They'll give me some invincibility for a few seconds. But I don't want to use it yet. Okay, now I'll use it. I think it lasts for like four seconds and then it's gone. And of course, it's going to be very expensive just to use. Okay, I did not want to use it there, but then I realized I was hanging on to the rope. Okay, good. That gave me some units of health. Eh. No, I did not mean to do that. Let me climb down and get the scroll. Okay, do the enemies respawn? Actually, no. 
So that's one new feature. Usually the enemies just respawn constantly. Like, even if on that same low line of threshold, they just keep coming back. Now it's just a little bit more generous. That's one thing I've just started to notice. And I like it. Oh, that was a stupid hit on my part. I don't know about these Sahagan things, though. I mean, technically I'm not killing them. Maybe that's why they keep coming back. Or maybe they're a special type of enemy that does that. I hit you! It's worth it to grab that sword extender. Ugh. Okay, maybe after a while, when you go so far, they come back. Okay, boss time. Okay, these things like to throw ninja stars at you and... But only one of them you can actually hit. The other one is invincible. Oh, contact damage! Whoa, that was actually a pretty lucky dodge. Okay, I'm hitting the fake one. Or at least the invincible one. Get over here. Oh, oh. Yeah, that's the same spot that hit me before. There we go! I just had to get more aggressive. Huh. <sighs> that's usually one bad thing, because if I died against the boss, I would have to go a very long way to get there again. Who are you? So, you're my original. What? Come on. Fight me. So you're the one who killed Irene and made me a murderer. So, what are you going to do about it? I'll get you! Stalemate? Nope! You're nothing but talk, aren't you? You... Haha! <laughs> I don't just look like you. I've also acquired all of your strengths. And hair. Unfortunately, I can't get rid of you just yet. Foster's order. I'll answer your question. I'm the one who eliminated Irene. You! <laughs> I'll use the information from this fight the next time we meet. When and if you get to Castle Rock Fortress, I'll be ready for you. Later. What in the world was that? And what's waiting for me at Castle Rock Fortress? In fact, that's so important I had to put four question marks there in my dialogue. Okay, I think that's going to be enough for this video, and in the next part, we're going to do stage four. Goodbye.